Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. You know, uh, this weekend in the United Kingdom, you have the WBO Lightweight Championship between champion and favorite Ricky Burns, who just beat... Michael Cassidis in an excellent performance, and he's taking on contender Paulus Moses. You know, I'll just be as blunt as possible. I don't know who wins this fight. I think the fight is very competitive. Understand it's in Burns' backyard. The crowd is certainly going to be in the champion's back pocket. But that said, this is a very different fight than Burns' Cassidus. You know, Cassidus was hunting Burns down. Burns, who doesn't punch that hard, has a less than 30% knockout percentage. Burns was able to fight the fight on his back foot. The moment of truth came when Cassidus was right up on Burns, and Burns defensively was good enough to catch Cassidus' body shots with his forearms. Right? That was the strategy Burns used, quite frankly, to beat Cassidus. When they were in the middle of the ring, Burns used length. He hid behind the jab. He was able to outwork Cassidus from distance. Right? Defense up close, offense from distance, decent work rate. You know, Paulus Moses is a former champion. We might not know him here in the United States. But he's actually a very good fighter. And his only loss, the fight that cost him his title, was a knockout loss to one of boxing's more enigmatic fighters, Miguel Acosta, a guy who I feel, even with his losses, and I understand Acosta has lost to guys like Brandon Rios, but I believe Acosta is one of the tougher style matchups for fighters like Burns and Moses, right? If you fight at distance, Acosta is a boxer puncher who can take you out with one punch. In some ways, he's like Shane Mosley. So I view Acosta as really an outlier, right? The wrong fight style-wise for Paulus Moses. More times than not, Paulus Moses is actually a fighter who knows how to use length, who has a lot more power, and I mean a lot more power, than Ricky Burns. Now, while I don't know who wins the fight, the purpose of this video is really to offer a betting strategy for your consideration. Neither of these guys is going to be hunting the other one down, even if Ricky Burns were to try to hunt down Paulus Moses. I don't think he has the caliber of bullet to take him out. Burns is simply not blessed with a big punch. So I believe this fight is really going to be fought from long range by two technicians. So forget the odds you've seen. Ricky Burns minus 625 to win the fight? Really? Does anyone really believe that if these two fought seven times, Ricky Burns would win six? I don't, right? And so the point I'm making is this. Throw the Ricky Burns minus 625 to win out the window because I don't see him knocking out Paulus Moses, right? Burns doesn't hit like Miguel Acosta. Right? He's not a one-punch knockout power. And let me point out, Moses, who's only been stopped once, was stopped on one punch. It was one of those fluke punches, the same kind of situation that Jorge Linares ran into. It was one of those fluke punches that really is an outlier event that's not going to happen all the time and can only happen against boxers with bigger punches than Ricky Burns. So my point to you is this, if you take Ricky Burns, who will have 
the crowd behind him and who is the champion. And let's face it, champions in title fights, particularly in front of favorable crowds, get the benefit of the doubt from the judges. Right? If you are going to take Ricky Burns, the bet I'm recommending is Ricky Burns by decision. Forget the minus 625. Let's considerably increase those odds. You can get Ricky Burns by decision at odds as low as minus 137. Much higher rate of return. And, of course, you can straddle that when you're getting a minus 137. You can easily straddle that against Paulus Moses to win the fight at plus 500. Some places have him plus 400. Understand here, if you're willing to forego Ricky Burns by KO, you can literally be on both sides of the bet and get upside if either guy wins. Right? You don't have to know who's gonna win. You just have to know that you have a bet structure so that you're only at risk if a very unlikely scenario, Ricky Burns by KO, takes place. The bet I'm recommending is Ricky Burns by decision at minus 137, straddled against Paulus Moses to win the fight at plus 400 and higher. Split it up. You'll figure out just go through alternative scenarios if Ricky Burns wins and you have money on Ricky Burns and money on Moses just have it set up where if Burns wins by decision you get a rate of return if Paulus Moses wins the fight you get a rate of return when a quality opponent like Paulus Moses is as big an underdog with the sports books as he is in this fight and when the favorite only has, I believe, something like nine career knockouts, then you have an opportunity to straddle the play. Burns by decision, straddle against Moses to win the fight. Let me know what you think. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Enjoy the fight. Thanks for stopping by.